Do you feel like you catch every cold, flu, or virus that comes around? You do everything right. You wash your hands, you avoid sick people, you try to eat healthy, but somehow you're the one who ends up in bed for days. If this sounds familiar, it's not just bad luck. The truth is your immune system might be weaker than you realized, but the good news is you can actually fix it naturally. In today's video, I'm breaking down the real reasons why you're always getting sick and giving you a step-by-step -step guide to strengthen your immune system. So. Whether you're dealing with constant colds, low energy, or just want to prevent getting sick in the first place, stick around. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear, actionable plan to build an immune system that actually works. Here's something that most people don't realize. A significant portion of your immune system is actually in your gut. If your gut health is compromised, whether it's from antibiotics, stress, or a poor diet, your immune system's defenses are down. Your gut is lined with trillions of bacteria that help regulate immune cells fight pathogens, and control inflammation. When this balance gets disrupted, it's like leaving the doors wide open for infections. Here's how to fix this quickly. Add fermented foods like Greek yogurt, sauerkraut, or kimchi. These foods are packed with probiotics that replenish good bacteria in your gut and directly support immune health. Aim for at least one serving daily. You can also take a high quality probiotic. I've seen good results with brands like Seed Probiotic, and I've also seen patients benefit greatly from strains like Acromanzia. Both of these are a little bit pricey, but they are absolute top quality probiotics. If you want some help affording them, I can get you a discount or something like that. Just let me know. Just drop a comment or DM me, whatever works. Another quick tip is to pair probiotics with prebiotic rich foods like garlic, onions, or bananas to help the good bacteria thrive. One of the most overlooked causes of a weak immune system is vitamin D deficiency. Some studies estimate that upwards of 70% of adult Americans are low in vitamin D. The lower end of those studies suggests that around 40 to 50% of American adults are low in vitamin D. Vitamin D is essential for activating T cells, the white blood cells that hunt down and kill viruses. Without adequate vitamin D, your immune system is like a security team with no weapons. Here's how to fix this. Sunlight. Get 15 to 20 minutes of direct sunlight daily, ideally in the morning or early afternoon. If sunlight isn't an option, take a vitamin D3 plus K2 supplement. You're aiming for around 5,000 to 10,000 IUs daily. The addition of K2 is crucial because it directs calcium away from the arteries and into the bones, preventing calcification of your arteries. I cannot exaggerate how important the addition of K2 can be to your vitamin D3 supplement. You can also pair vitamin D with a fat source since it is a fat soluble vitamin, like olive oil or avocados for better absorption. Another major issue with immunity is chronic stress. Chronic stress is like kryptonite for your immune system. High cortisol from stress actually suppresses the production of lymphocytes, the white blood cells that help fight off infections. This is why you often get sick after stressful weeks. More simply put, if your body's constantly in fight or flight mode and more worried about sustaining that, how could it possibly have the resources to adequately defend against pathogens? Lowering stress is crucial for not only immunity, but countless other body processes. Here's how to lower stress naturally. Consider adaptogenic herbs. You can try ashwagandha, around 300 to 600 milligrams a day, or my personal favorite, rhodiola, 200 to 400 milligrams a day. I prefer rhodiola because sometimes people report feeling very numb and dull with ashwagandha. And also if you're already taking an SSRI, which is a type of antidepressant that we use in medicine, ashwagandha probably shouldn't be taken along with it as it's pretty much nature's SSRI and has very similar mechanisms. Regardless, these adaptogens help your body to handle stress without suppressing immunity. You can also try daily deep breathing Spend at least five minutes on deep belly breathing. This lowers cortisol and activates the parasympathetic nervous system, which helps immune cells work more efficiently. There are many great videos on YouTube for this, so I feel like there's no need to go into detail about it here. Find one that works for you and do it consistently. Another supplement that can be very helpful in reducing stress pretty quickly would be magnesium glycinate. I recommend 200 to 400 milligrams nightly. You're gonna to wanna to take this about 45 minutes before bedtime. This not only helps improve sleep, but also directly reduces stress-induced cortisol. Consider it two birds with one stone. Speaking of sleep, most people overlook how critical sleep is for immunity. Studies show that getting less than seven hours of sleep can make you nearly three times more likely to catch a cold. Three times. That's profoundly significant. This is because when deep sleep is when your body produces cytokines, the proteins that help fight inflammation and infections. Here's how to optimize your sleep for a stronger immune system. Most importantly, stick to a sleep schedule. Go to bed and wake up around the same time every day, within a 30 to 45 minute variance. This includes the weekends. Consistency helps to regulate your circadian rhythm, which in turn regulates immune function. Like I just mentioned, you can also consider magnesium glycinate, around 200 to 400 milligrams nightly. This specific form of magnesium is highly bioavailable and supports deep, restorative sleep without the digestive discomfort that other forms can cause. There are also three really important other sleep tips that are really simple to pull off. The first, 
no caffeine six hours before bed. I don't care if you're the person who says that they can drink a cup of coffee five minutes before bed and sleep just fine. You're not. Even if you're able to fall asleep, countless studies have shown that caffeine after two or at latest 4 p.m. will have significant effects on reducing REM sleep. This is a big negative. I also recommend no screens 90 minutes before bed. Blue light produced from the screens suppresses melatonin production, the hormone that helps you sleep and stay asleep. If you do need to use screens, I highly, highly recommend a quality set of blue light blocker glasses. I also recommend no heavy meals three hours before bed. Digestion can interfere with deep sleep. Sleep in a dark, cool environment. Your bedroom should be 65 to 68 degrees Fahrenheit and pitch black. Get some blackout curtains if needed. Now let's move to the bonus section and potentially one of the most important, immune boosting supplements that actually work. Not all supplements are created equal. Here's a list of science-backed supplements that can help boost immunity fast. The gold standard, like we mentioned earlier, vitamin D3 plus K2. This is essential for proper immune function. Here's some you probably haven't heard of. NAC, around 600 to 1200 milligrams a day. NAC significantly boosts glutathione, can also help clear respiratory mucus and helps to fight free radicals. Natokinase. Natokinase is mostly known for its cardiovascular benefits. At its basic core, it enhances blood flow. It also is known to reduce arterial plaque, but preliminary studies are showing significant benefits in immune function, particularly against the COVID-19 virus. In multiple studies, natokinase is shown to be able to significantly degrade the spike protein. This significantly inhibits the virus's ability to replicate. You can also consider the addition of quercetin. This supplement acts as a natural antihistamine and improves zinc absorption. Speaking of zinc, zinc is crucial for immune function. Many people have found benefit in taking zinc once the flu season starts. It might not be something that you need to be on all the time, but it's certainly beneficial during the winter months. You can also consider elderberry, around 500 to 1,000 milligrams a day. Elderberry has been shown to reduce cold and flu duration by up to 50%. Would I take all of these together? Probably not. I suggest you think about what resonates with you the most and what your goals are and try to build your stack from there. I will say, at its very core, vitamin D3 and K2 would be very important. Some of my favorite additions from there would likely be NAC, and natokinase. I hope that helps to keep things very clear. So what does this look like in your day-to-day -day life? This is a lot of information and it may seem overwhelming, but it's actually not. Let me go through a few daily habits that are incredibly high yield and will hardly take any of your time. Morning sunlight exposure. 10 to 15 minutes boosts both vitamin D and regulates your circadian rhythm. A 15 minute daily walk. Movement improves circulation, helping immune cells move throughout your body more effectively. Stay hydrated. I cannot exaggerate enough the importance of drinking water. This is your sign, fill up that Stanley, more than once and drink it down. These are simple steps to introduce that have huge upsides. I want to hear from you. What is your biggest struggle with staying healthy? Comment below and I'll answer as many as I can. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any actionable health tips. If there's any topics you want me to cover in the future, please drop a comment below as well and I'm happy to look over it. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.